guys, it's me Chanel with the three A's and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the products that I currently use and the products that I'm going to be carrying with me into 2018 for my relaxed hair journey. My hair is wrapped up like this right now, by the way, because um, when I get to the portion of the video where I show you guys what I use to moisturize and seal my hair and what I'm going to continue to use to moisturize and seal my hair, I'm actually going to do it with you in the video. So it's kind of like a twofer type deal. You get all the products that I'm going to be using in 2018 and you get a moisturizing seal. So first we're going to start with tools. We're going to start off with the basic um, wide tooth combs. So I have two of them. This one is my little shower comb or whatever. I usually keep it in the shower for whenever I'm washing my hair. And this one is just for I, what I use when my hair is dry. I keep it in my little basket underneath my sinks. Little teeth combs. What are they called? <laughs> little teeth combs. I forgot. Um, rat tail combs. So uh, these are the two rat tail combs that I currently have on deck right now. Um, I use these usually only when I'm straightening my hair. I will be continuing to use them to trace my hair whenever I do my straightening process. And I also like to use the wrap tail portion of it to part my hair whenever I'm wearing um, buns with a part, so a side part or a part straight down the middle of my head or whatever. I like to use rat tail combs for getting the most precise part that I can. My last and final comb that I'm gonna be using in 2018 is just a regular comb, girl. Just a regular, degular comb from Sally Beauty or something. I don't know. So next we're gonna move into brushes. So let's start with the obvious, my perm brush. Um, I'm going to be using this brush all 2018 to continue to apply my relaxers. I don't use any rat tail comb or anything like that during that process. Um, I use strictly this little brush and I apply it all throughout my hair using just this brush and I smooth with just my fingers. So I don't use any extra tools or anything crazy like that. The next brush is my styling brush. Um, this is just a paddle bore bristle type brush deal. I got it from Sally's. I have no idea what it's called, I'm sorry. This is the brush that I've been using so far throughout my hair journey because it's soft on the bristles. Um, it doesn't really pull and rip out my hair and everything like that while I'm brushing it through doing my buns or whatever. I do not like to use hard brushes or you know those little brushes that your mom used to use with all the little plastic bristles um, those little hard, they used to come in all types of different colors or whatever, <laughs> and they're really hard and they'd be scratching your forehead. Yeah, um, if you can, I would avoid using that type of brush because it just tugs at your hair. I wouldn't try to use anything that's going to be too hard on my hair, and those brushes have been really hard. So when I did start my hair journey, I did move to a softer bristle brush, and this is the one that I've been using, and it's going to go with me into 2018 for my hair journey. The next brush is this little Revlon... Yeah, Revlon Paddle Brush. Um, this was one of my staples when it came to detangling my hair. I was always using this to get through my hair and everything like that. Replacing that brush is this denim brush. So I kept hearing things about this brush. You know, all types of naturalistas use this brush. I don't know if I'm holding it the right way. But this is what it looks like. Um, and it's actually gold, you guys. Like... All types of naturalistas use this brush on the hair and you when you see the videos you'll see them like comb through their hair and it makes their curls really defined really nice looking um, I ain't gonna curls because I'm relaxed but this brush does help a lot with detangling my hair and getting it straight if you don't have one I I highly suggest that you purchase a brush like this next brush is a little dirty um, it's my toothbrush that I use for my edges, so this will be coming with me into 2018. The next tool that I'm going to be taking with me into 2018, of course, are my shears, my little scissors. These are regular Conair scissors. It's not just like some regular arts and crafts scissors that I'm just going in and, you know, shredding up my ends and everything like that. These are pretty sharp, and I only use them for cutting my hair. I don't use them for op opening packages or... Nothing crazy like this. This stays under my sink with all of my hair products, and it's only used on my hair. So, yeah. Next tools are my rollers. Um, this is a little, what's it called? A flexi rod. This is a little flexi rod roller. Um, I have not, since the first time I've tried doing a look with flexi rods, um, used flexi rods for another look because it was a fail, and I honestly don't really know how to use them on relaxed hair. But... 
that's one of the goals is to try to, you know, use it on my hair, get a little style popping or whatever with these flexi rods. So I will still continue to bring these with me into 2018 and try to, you know, get some little curly look popping. The next roller is the Roller Set Roller. Um, I don't really know what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it because they're used for roller sets mostly. Um, I did my first roller set in my last relaxer video. Um, but I did my first roller set and it didn't come out great. So I'm going to try it again whenever I relax my hair in February. So look out for that video because it's going to be featuring these rollers in 2018. The next roller is this perm rod. Um, I use these on the ends of my hair whenever I'm doing a twist out or a braid out or whatever. I like to use these on the ends because it gives you that little curl. Coming with me, of course, into 2018 because I do wear buns all the time for work. Obviously coming with me is the hair tie. Um, this little hair tie, I use the ones without the little metal tip on it, obviously. This just helps to prevent any breakage or ripping out of my hair. Um, rubber bands. This is just a little brown little rubber band type deal. Ooh. They're really good for securing my twist out if I don't want to use the perm rod. Next up is regular degular bobby pins, girl. Um, bobby pins are, you know, they life. They hold up your bun, they hold up your ponytail, you can put it in the side, you can use it for a style, a look. Um, bobby pins are bobby pins, are bobby pins. I also have some larger bobby pins type deals. Um, my hair is not that thick that I need to use them, but I do use them sometimes to like tuck in a braid or something like that or whatever the case may be. Next up are hair clips um, that I use to secure my hair. I use these in the shower to secure my hair. I use them when I'm being lazy around the house um, to secure my hair, get it out the way when I'm cleaning up or anything like that. Next item that will be coming with me into 2018 is this bag. This little hair bag, um, these I use for deep conditioning and everything like that. Um, mostly just deep conditioning because that's all that I really do that needs a bag. It's just not really for me using a store bag, that's it. Um, my hair is not too long that I have to use a big, large bag. So these little bags work fine. For me, you can get about 10 of them for a dollar and a pack. So they come with me. They come in with me, they work fine. Next up is my flat iron. My flat iron is a Chi Air. I have mentioned in another video that I did want to upgrade my flat iron. I'm feeling like I can step my game up, you know, it's 2018. This is gonna be coming with me into 2018, but only up until I find a replacement for it. My blow dryer is also going to get an upgrade this year, however, the one that's coming with me into 2018 is this Remington Silk. Um, I got it from Walmart probably for like 20 some dollars. Oh, it has two speeds, two speeds for the fan, and then it has three levels of heat, and then it has a little cool blaster thingy that I like to use at the end of blow drying my hair to make it kind of shiny. My last tool coming with me into 2018, girl. Yes, you know it. It's my Con Air um, hooded dryer. Majiga. So everybody on any type of hair journey, relaxed, natural, um, bald, whatever, you need a hooded dryer in your life. So pick you one up. Um, this is just a really simple hooded dryer. I don't use like a steamer or anything like that whenever I do my deep conditioners. I just use that indirect heat from the hooded dryer um, with the bag of my hair, the deep conditioner, and I just use it. So next we're going to move into items that I used for moisturizing and sealing my hair. Um, so we'll start first with the leave-in. And the one that I'm going to be using to moisturize and seal my hair constantly is this Miel Pomegranate Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner right here is pretty much life. Um, it's so bomb, you guys. Like, I don't think I've ever used a leave-in conditioner this good before. It makes my hair super soft. I did use it in combination with another new product, so I don't know if it's this alone or if it's both products together, but it literally was like a miracle. The next one is this Ion Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I most likely will be buying this as like a backup or whatever because it is OG and it has been coming with me throughout my, you know, my hair journey, my relaxed hair journey, and it has been helpful. So I don't want to get rid of it completely, um, but... I think it's going to have to take a seat. So oils that are going to be coming with me. Jamaican black castor oil. This is the Jamaican lime 
brand. Um, Jamaican black castor oil is honestly really good for moisturizing your scalp. That's what I use it for. I don't use it on the ends because it's kind of a heavy oil, but I definitely use this for moisturizing um, my scalp when I do my LCO or LOC. The next oil that is going to be staying in my routine is this Sweet Almonds Oil. I think I am going to swap it out for avocado oil. I'm going to try it to see if I like it. This is a very lightweight oil. I use this for sealing my ends, but I do want to try the avocado oil. The next oil is my coconut oil, of course. Um, this oil has been with me from the beginning since I started using coconut oil and I'm going to keep using it because it's a decent little lightweight oil. It works out. I use that typically for my pre-poos. Um, I slather coconut oil all in my hair as a pre-poo and I'll put a little bit of conditioner in it, a little bit like a, of a rinse out conditioner in my hair as well. It's going to be coming with me for that pre-poo and also for my moisturizing and sealing. Butters, girl. Okay, butters for moisturizing and sealing. Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Coconut Cream Buttercream Intensive Moisture Sealant. I picked this up a few months ago. It wasn't bad at all. It smells pretty good. It's kind of a, a more liquidy type of oil. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's kind of like a smoothie more than it is a cream. I bought it. I used it. I liked it. So, um, I'm probably going to be taking it with me into 2018, but it's not going to really stay only because I found something a little bit better. This cream is the TGIN, thank God it's natural, buttercream daily moisturizer. This moisturizer is a bit thicker than the um, Aunt Jackie's Intensive Repair or Intensive Moisture Sealant. This one is a bit thicker than that. Um, it ain't gonna spill out on me like that one did. It's a bit thicker. It's actually more of a buttercream. It smells really, really good. Um, this butter is just amazing, you guys. Like using this in my hair, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like if y'all don't, you. It's kind of on the pricey side, but I really suggest that you pick it up for your moisturizing and sealing. All of my moisturizing and sealing products that I'm going to be continuing to use or that I might phase out. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and take this little shirt off and show you guys how I moisturize and seal my hair really quickly. It's just going to be a quick little demo slash tutorial type deal on how I moisturize and seal my shoulder length relaxed hair.
moisturized and sealed up. Um, I put the little wrap t-shirt thing back on my head because um, because I just don't, I'm just sitting around the house so I ain't doing nothing special today. So yeah, we just gonna put it back in there. Next we're gonna get into the products that I currently and will be continuing to use for my moisturizing wash day. The shampoo that I use for my moisturizing wash day is this Mizani True Textures Curl Balance um, Color Safe Sulfate Free Shampoo. Um, this stuff right here is gold. It smells pretty good. It's really good. It doesn't make me feel like my hair is dried out or anything like that. So I really enjoy using this shampoo. Um, hopefully I'm able to find another bottle someplace else. But this stuff is really good um, for a moisturizing wash day. It keeps that moisture in your hair while still giving you that squeaky clean type feeling. The rinse out conditioners that I'll be using are this Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist, of course. Um, this is a deep conditioner, but I use it for my rinse out conditioner. This stuff is bomb. I have the little bottle right now, but I'm probably going to go purchase the large bottle of it because it's really good. VO5, it's another OG. Um, this is the Pomegranate Bliss one. I use the Strawberries and Cream one. I've used the little purple one. Um, VO5 conditioners are just OG. OG for real, especially as a rinse out. And lastly, the deep conditioner that I'm going to continue to use is the Aunt Jackie's In Control Moisturizing and Softening Conditioner. This stuff is bomb. It smells amazing. I love stuff. I'm all about stuff that smells really good. And all of these products right now that I've been telling you to go pick up um, and try for your, your routine smell amazing so i'm not gonna give y'all nothing that smell funky another deep conditioner that i'm currently using and going to probably keep using i'm not really sure it depends on if i'm like gonna be balling or not because this is expensive is this main choice deep strengthening and restorative mask treatment um sometimes i use this instead of the aunt jackie's it's all right but it's expensive so i might stick with the aunt jackie's and i might get this and use it again if I'm like splurging or something, like if I'm splurging at Sally's and I'm just going all out. Um, other than that, I'm going to stick with the Aunt Jackie's. For my protein wash days, the shampoos that um, I'm currently using and will continue to use are, of course, the ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo. OG, really good. Um, and then this Mazzani Purifying Intense Clean Cleansing Shampoo. It feels amazing in my hair. It doesn't... It feels super, super clean. My hair doesn't feel stripped. I'm just kind of all about these Mizani shampoos recently because they have just been really working for me. So, um, yeah, go ahead and try this out if you haven't already tried it. It's a really good product. I don't normally use a rinse out conditioner whenever I'm doing my clarifying wash day. I just normally wash my hair and jump straight into the deep conditioner. So the two deep conditioners that have made it and will come with me are the ORS Hair Mayonnaise um, Deep Conditioner. I love this stuff. It always makes my hair feel rejuvenated. And the ORS Replenishing Conditioner. Both of these items have protein in them. Um, I do do my protein whenever I do my clarifying wash day. That's the pair and that's what's gonna be coming with me into 2018 on this hair journey. Whenever I straighten my hair, which is not very often, it's usually only um, on relaxer day, I do use certain products for straightening my hair. One of them is this Ion Straightening Blow Dry Balm. Um, this stuff is really good. It's pretty good. It gives you a good blowout. It's coming with me. Good product. And then the next product is the Chi Silk Infusion. Um, I use this kind of just to give me that silky, flowy type feel after I blow dry my hair and right before I straighten. Heat protectant. I use this Macadamia um, Heat Protectant Serum from Carol's Daughter. I don't know if she carries this anymore, so I might, when I run out of this, have to find another product for heat protectant, but this is a pretty uh, decent product. I don't use a lot of it because serums tend to make my hair, um, they tend to weigh my hair down and make them really oily, so I only use a little dab of this just enough to protect my hair from the heat whenever I'm going to blow dry and straighten it for my straightening day, um, but this is the heat protectant that I will be using until I run out of it and I can't find this no more. This is it. For styling products that I'm going to continue to use, that I currently use and will continue to use, um, the Incredibly Rich Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion from ORS. Of course, a key staple. Um, 
the gel that I'm going to be using is the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. This one's really good. I have tried the Argan Oil one, but I prefer the Olive Oil Gel. I just, I like the hold better. Um, it smells good. I don't know. It's just, I don't know why. I think it made my hair shinier, and I didn't really like the shine that the Argan Oil one gave me. So that's why I'm going to be sticking with the Olive Oil one. Edge Control, of course, I'm going to be using my Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco perfect edges um to you know to lay these down control my little edges right here my little baby hairs or whatever i'm gonna be using this since i've been natural or relaxed or whatever this has been always my favorite edge control to use so i'm gonna continue to use this as well so that is the end of this video that is all of the products that i currently use and the ones that will be staying with me throughout my hair journey for 2018 um, or the ones that I might be dropping off and giving a seat for a little bit. But those are the products um, for 2018, current products. And that's how I moisturize and seal my hair. I did a little bit of that. Um, so that's it. That's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will have more videos coming. My next video is going to be my goals um, for 2018 and a couple of tips and stuff like that and um, just things that I'm going to do, you know, for my 2018 routine. Um, so I'll see you when I get there. But like I said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me some comments um, on any products that you use that have been really good to you, um, that you would suggest that I use, or anything like that. Just go ahead, drop it in the comments. Um, also, leave me any comments of videos that you want to see for 2018 as well, so I can put together like a little lineup or whatever like that, um, so that I can give you guys some content for your relaxed shoulder length hair.